I really love looking at strippers and just throwing my money at them. And whenever I have the opportunity to go from one stripper to two strippers, by golly, I'm going to take the opportunity to do it. But in all honesty, I got this brand new Stripmeister E1000 off of Facebook Marketplace for only 580 bucks. And right now they're going online, I think, for around 1200 depending on what site you buy it from. So 580 bucks is a heck of a price. Granted, this was used, and it's got some wear and tear on it, but I'll take it all day for that price. Thing comes in weighing about 40 pounds, or 38.8 according to my little scale here. And it has a half horsepower motor, and also a bunch of other cool features that I'm going to break down here for you. The stripper can handle up to 1,000 MCM wire, which is 1.4 inches across, and it's able to do so with this larger grate up at the top that you're able to move around. But it's not just big stuff that it can handle. It can also handle the smaller stuff, which you can see on the other side, you're able to bring it up and down with this other grate for different sizes, such as Romex, some sort of round, smaller wire, and even smaller on the bottom. And on paper, that smallest size is actually 18 gauge. And spinning this wheel is how you move the blade up and down. And I kind of sped it up here just to show it going up and down. And all the other features require it to be plugged in, so let's plug it in and see what else we got to work with. Once the strip master gets turned on, you have this speed gauge here that goes from 1 to 10. I'll put it right here in the middle just to show how fast this wheel will get moving, and that's what feeds the wire through the stripper. Then I ended up throwing it up to 10 just to show what it can really do here. It gets going pretty quick. And this was the first time that I ever used it, so I started off just grabbing this random wire. Of course some Romex, which is something that a lot of people have access to. And then last but not least, some of this really large stuff. This is what I used a couple videos back whenever I used my smaller Stripmeister to strip out a bunch of stuff. But let's get into this. I decided to start out with the Romex wire, and the first thing that I do whenever I'm going to use this stripper, is I just get the holes lined up on the appropriate one that I want to use, make sure it's nice and lined up with the blade, and going to feed in correctly. And then I just gotta line it up, looks like it was good. And I just had to get the blade set to the right depth as well. Then we turn it on, get the correct speed we wanna start out with, put the piece in, and we let her rip. I mean, in all honesty, being this the first piece of wire I ever struck through this thing, I was pretty impressed with it. It fed this piece of Romex through really nicely. And like I said, this blade was used, the whole machine was, so it wasn't quite as sharp as it should be, but it still did awesome. Was able to get it to where I could separate each piece, to where I got the uncoated piece, threw it to the side, and I was able to take the other pieces, throw them to the side as well. Had some other pieces that I just threw through, and it did a really good job getting it all done. I had some pieces, like you could see on that one, I ran it through the other side, it just didn't get it all the way. Just flipped it around, threw it right back through, and got all ready for the smaller pieces here. I'm going to start off going with the smaller section, I believe. I'm going to raise that all the way to the top. I just had to start out adjusting the blade, adjusting my speed, ensuring that I had it the way that I wanted it, and I started working with it. Troubleshooting a little bit, making sure it all worked well. However, I did have a little bit of trouble with this piece, and I actually pull it through. It had a little bit of a kink in it, and I explained what happens here. I tried to run it faster, came into a kink here, and due to the fact that it hit that kink, it threw off where it was splicing at, and then it just cut to the side and it just got jammed right there and it wasn't moving. So I'm gonna take that, straighten it up a little bit, and let's run it back through, starting from the other way. Put it at four this time. Seems to be doing decent. No kinks, I'm gonna up the speed to five. Yeah, that one did a good, try another one. Good and straight. And as you can see, I sped this up, but to give you the actual time limit, it took me a minute and 30 seconds to do everything that I'm doing in this clip. All right, and next up, I was gonna use this larger piece. It gave me a good opportunity to use the larger cavity in the top. So all I had to do is just like I did with the Romex, adjust my knife, adjust to all the other settings, my speed, and it was able to bring it through there pretty nicely. I guarantee if I would have had a brand new blade on this thing, it would have ripped right through it, no problem. But it didn't, so I ran it through for another pass, and it took the coating off, no problem at all. And then once the coating was off, I was able to use the middle section. 
and like I said, just troubleshoot, get my wire thickness right, get my speed right. Once I got that figured out, it was off to the races doing the rest of it. Went really well. I wish I had a couple more pieces of this. It was some good wire to strip. But that was all I had, and I was just using this as a representation. Alright, and thus far with this experiment and first time use, I was really impressed. But it's time to move on to the big stuff. Like I said, this can do 1000 MCM, which is 1.4 inches across. This wire is large, but it's not near that big. So let's see what the Stripmeister E1000 can do up against this larger stuff. So obviously got to raise the blade up, get it into the larger cavity up top. And then it's just a matter of, like I said, troubleshooting, getting the speed I want, getting the blade setting that I want. Once I got that stuff figured out, I slowly but surely was able to start getting it through. And it started splicing it like a champ. I was really pleased with it. However, as you can see that snaggled up piece of coating there, I did pull that back as far as I could and then I just cut that off because that would have jammed it up and it probably wouldn't have went through. But after I got that off there, it ended up working up really well, and I got this piece finished up. And in order to be upfront about how quick this has taken me, I did eight times the speed here so I could get it done and not have a super duper long video. But that little section right there took me 45 seconds. And then like before with the smaller stuff, the kinks will get in your way. You gotta make sure everything's straightened up or else it will not go through. But I was able to just cut that with my knife at the end and I was able to pull this all the way off have some big, bright, shiny copper. So overall, it wasn't that bad of a experiment to go with that large a wire. I really wish I had a piece of 1000 MCM to really show this thing on what it can do, but I just worked with what I had. Overall, I'm really pleased with the stripper. It's like I said, I only paid 580 bucks for this thing, so I'll make my money back in no time. And in the future, I'm gonna be using this a lot more. I'll drop a link in the description where you can pick up either of these splitters. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. God bless, and as always have a good one.